change their form every tidal cycle. Every season the dunes are different, which for some can pose problems when they start to migrate or erode, we tend to get concerned. But those changes, that's part of the natural function of dunes. If left to nature's processes, they tend to recover and they're actually quite resilient. But we don't know an awful lot about how dunes recover from these erosive events. And there's good evidence to suggest that climate variability is becoming more extreme and that that's part of climate change. And so as these extremes increase, damage to shorelines, threats to ecosystems will also increase. So understanding these processes can inform us on how better to live on the coast and to build and to coexist with an ocean that can be angry. When we're interested in dune rebuilding, we want to be measuring the wind. So when we set up an experiment, we use essentially three types of instruments. We use sediment traps that collect the sand as it moves. We use laser particle counters that count the number of sand grains that pass through the flow. And then we use instruments that measure wind speed in three dimensions. Driftwood plays a very important role because these logs can act to buffer the dune from storm waves. So one of the purposes of the experiment is to quantify how much sand do they trap. So we set up one static location that measures uh, what the wind sees as it's coming across the beach and into the dune without any driftwood. And then we set these instruments up in the driftwood and move them to different areas on the beach that are representative of high levels of driftwood or medium or lower accumulations. Each instrument is putting out information at about four times per second, which generates a massive amount of data. That's going to take six months to a year to process to be able to answer the question that we're trying to answer. These sandy beaches at Hakai are pristine, they're beautiful, but they're also quite rare in British Columbia. Sand dunes provide a sort of protection against large storms and potentially sea level rise. And they serve very important ecosystem services, whether they be stopovers for migratory birds or primary habitat for endangered and endemic species. And we tend to take them for granted so understanding their broader function, that being how sand maintains them, is pretty foundational to the health and resilience of these ecosystems.